General Andrews, and the Dream Stream presents Rapid Runs. Let's just that then. And then when does this, the timer start? Uh, after the name input. Okay, as soon as the name is done and you hit enter, then that's when it starts? Yep. Okay, cool. So we can say... Uh, what's our name? You can pick. Dream. Dream? Okay. <laughs> uh, how to spell dream? Okay, we go. Alright, three, two, one, go? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. So, this is the ancient cave. Uh, it is 99 floors, 98 of which are procedurally generated, so it's as bad as it sounds already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, the only fixed thing about the cave is the 99th floor, uh, which at the very end, is there a jelly? There is a jelly. We probably will not see the jelly, just to be very honest, um, because everything in here is random. And when you're going fast, it's actually really, really, really not good. <laughs> Um, but there's actually a lot of really cool things about this run, because first of all, it's 100% RNG, but second of all, you can mitigate like 95% of the RNG, um, at least when it comes to like controlling enemies and movement and stuff like that. So, I love like, that. Certain enemies on the overworld, when you're running around, you can control their patterns, um, and that actually helps in the cave quite a bit. But just in general, what you find in every treasure chest is completely random. Um, the enemies that spawn on the floor within to some scope is completely random. Like, everything is completely random. So we have a lot of blue jellies here. Actually. Wow, yeah, looks like they're like, OK, they want to fight you for sure. Yeah. So we're going to switch to Sully, and we're going to go like this and just put these guys in front because they're a little bit stronger than the two that we put back. And yeah. Oh, nice. The escape worked right away. Cool. Yep, uh, we still have the speed advantage for maybe like one other floor. Well, that's a Probably good grab, though. huh? A miracle? No. <laughs> oh, no, they don't. Those. Okay, so that's only something that's nice in a casual run. I, I mean, like, yes, but at the same time, it doesn't really go super far, um, at, at least in the speed run anyway. Okay, good to know. Because I figured being able to bring back some, you know, someone back to life would be necessary for your speedrun. If you were like, oh man, I'm on a good pace, but I lost one of my characters. I can't beat the jelly. But now you can bring that person back. Like, all right, maybe there's a chance here. Yeah, it's possible. Eagle. I hate the eagles. They don't move same. very much except when it's to get in your way. Yeah, no, same. Phone, are you excited for this? I hope you are. I, I've been excited yeah. for this all night. Ancient Cave is amazing. As I said, like we're probably going to die, so don't get your hopes up too high. Um, but at the same time, the good thing about the Ancient Cave, I think, anyway, is the way that the run is validated at the very end. Because when you get down to the Jelly, um, he's got 9,000, what is it, 800 health or something like that? Yeah, and you only have uh, a few you, turns to beat him, right? Yes, yeah, so you have three turns, and you have to do that much. You have to do that. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. You have to do not that a much damage. This run might be <laughs> it's over, over already. This run literally might end on the fact that <laughs> it's a gosh darn mimic. We don't have any weapon. Okay, how do we do that? This is gonna be bad, actually, because the... the oh, folks, this is so bad. <laughs> I, guess, I guess these guys, because they buffaloes are easier to fight than mimics. Yes, That's all I absolutely. can think of. And hopefully they just attack solely, because obviously. Yeah, no, we should be able to live the buffaloes. It's more so the mimics. Mimics are a party wipe already. Um, yes. Mimics are so terrible. Yeah, they're kind of really tricky too because they can spawn in groups of four. And really? yeah. Or yes. do you mean after you get into the fight? I, after you get into the fight. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was picturing like there'd be four on the screen. I'm like, I don't remember that. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. Yeah, so if we're smart, we should go down and yes, then run away. Yes, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. And then run away again. <laughs> and then. We at least made the Mimic uh, move down there, so we don't have to worry that much about him anymore. So, okay, we're just gonna okay. leave. <laughs> Good, I think there was a second Mimic on that, um, that same thing in the top left corner there, because it, it was yeah. discolored. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, no, it very well might have been. You can tell, actually, as you just said, because you're like, what is all these guys, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is not yeah. the perfect run so far, folks. <laughs> 
one thing i do like about lizards is they usually are pretty easy to get um from behind for because now if you come in from behind are you, you you get improved runaway or escape right or speed yeah. something like that you get the first attack and 100 percent chance of escaping if you get the first attack you just run away on that turn that's okay that's what i was hoping cool so now right now you're more so hoping for like blue chests more than anything right uh to some extent there is a couple of items in the blue chest Ooh, actually these cubes. are the guys that i'm kind of hoping for right now i so love are, cubes yes they are basically the main source of the experience because you skip every single enemy for the most part in the speed run yes um but you do not skip these guys come on so I don't please. Spell. They actually have okay good attack. magic yeah oh, one got so, away all right all right so they actually have a magic bug if you use any kind of magic on them their magic defense is like forked. oh so Unfortunately, maybe Sully will actually save. He does. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Sully. Sully, how did you miss? So we really need to kill a couple of those cores because they are... Uh, so, like, a, a lizard right now might give you, I don't know, like, 70 experience or something. Those cores give you 2222, two, 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 so 2,222. And then it keeps on adding another number for every color, right? Something like that? Or, like, it doubles? Yes, I'm trying to remember what it was. There's other cores that are like green and different ones. So if you don't get the cores, because uh, it's, it's even random if they spawn and it requires, I guess, like a good seed according to the game or good luck. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you don't kill cores, then no, you're, you're going to be like at level 20 or 30 and all of a sudden like level two and it's going to be a very uncomfortable situation. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, because any enemy could wipe you at that point. Yep. You just have like 20 health or 30 health and it's not a good situation to be in compared to now uh, the reason why he says this folks is typically when you play this run if you're doing it casually you're gonna slow farm everything you're gonna play it safe you're gonna go ahead and attack enemies try to get the first strike by sneaking behind them well right now he's trying to go quick he's trying to get optimal movement where necessary oh there's a So I really, I actually haven't found a spell yet other than Confuse, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, at least four of these spawn, folks. Uh, they always run. There's like a 75% chance they escape. So. Jesus. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. That, may, that hurt. Like they're there, but they'll run away. Oh, Ooh, come on. Crap. Come on. This guy. Can you just stay? I just need one of you to stay. Um, but even then, like, we don't okay, have okay. weapons somehow, so... We're not going to have a great chance of killing this guy. Although that did a lot. Okay, we're good. We, we got one. Yo, oh. folks, the run's live. <laughs> yeah. So we only need a couple to get, you know, like safely to floor 20 or so to have like a health at least to survive encounters. So that's at least the step in the first direction. Now, is that because you're going to mostly run in those encounters too, but you might need a couple of rounds to run? Correct. Okay. Yeah, we need the health. Uh, ideally, otherwise you just get one shot and waste all kinds of like reviving resources. So. Okay. Okay. Yes. So even uh, though you have guy... a few miracles right now, those can just be bled real quickly. Yes. So you really don't want to use them until later because miracles go a long way in the sense like once you start leveling up, um, your dude has like obviously way more MP. So if you miracle and you recover like 200 MP, it's way better than now if he only has like 20 max or something. Gotcha. Now, I see you picking up some armor. Do you already have better equipped armor? How's this working? Uh, no, I literally just collect chests and stockpile them for a little bit for two different reasons. There's actually kind of like a cool Pokemon thing in this game. Okay. Um, where Waking. you have a Great. bunch of capsule monsters, and I guess we can just show them off quickly. But we have all these guys. Oops, yeah, sorry. I love those guys. Yeah, so we have a bunch of different ones. And right now we're going to use Sully, even though he's kind of a disappointment. Yes, yeah, it's true. <laughs> and hey, uh, fatal pick. We both want to gather equipment for them, okay? Uh, so we can feed them later on and basically evolve them. And we also need to gather equipment, obviously, for our own characters. So gotcha. It's kind of like a twofold thing here. But yeah, fatal pick is a decent find. It's an instant death weapon, and there's like an eighty percent chance that uh, instant death will activate if you use it. So it's pretty decent. Um, the thing about all the instant death weapons in this game is they require a curse lifter to remove, which is a little bit annoying because curse lifters are actually very rare to find. These so spells are not nice. No, they suck. <laughs> these are 
very, very, very bad. Okay, sure. Fiddle yeah, sure, yeah. Really. Two, two fiddle picks, right, right. So we can probably equip some stuff now. We have at least some equipment, but yeah. Oh, you'll, um, you'll just click strongest. Okay. Yeah. So we'll actually commit to Artie. Uh, you generally don't want to really equip the instant death stuff until you have a curse lifter. Okay. Because it literally locks you out in terms yes. of like jelly options and stuff if you get all the way down to like 499. I remember as a kid, now it wasn't in here, but it was like, you know, another castle in the game. And I equipped like the deadly shield or something like that, deadly sword, because it was super strong at that point. But then I couldn't remove it. And I was like freaking out. <laughs> I was like, no, oh, oh my gosh, it's over. My life's over. Yeah, there's there's some pretty big disadvantages actually being locked into a weapon, especially in the jelly fight when you only have three turns to kill him. So. That makes sense. Yeah, because your instant death's not going to do what you need it to do. No, he's immune to that, very unfortunately. So literally does nothing. Now, thankfully with Artie, now is Artie someone you'll use your spells on in that situation if he did get stuck with the fatal pick by that point? Um, yeah, Artie, that's kind of like the safer bet to put instant death on because ideally I ideally, actually, you want a deadly rod with uh, Artie, and you want a curse lifter to remove the curse. Okay. Because the deadly rod is what's called a fractional in this game, and I think it does like one fourth damage or something every single time that you use what's called an IP attack. Um, so at the very end, he can basically do like 3,000 damage if you have a curse lifter and a deadly rod. But barring that, then the second most useful thing is high tier spells so he can do like 300 or 400 per turn wow kind of like the better spells in the game and it's at least some fixed damage that you can count on gotcha okay already uh, already is a really weird one because he has a bunch of different rules in terms of like jelly and ideally you want also trick uh it's a spell that raises your attack power you can okay, control these scorpions okay. to kind of give you a visual so you can see literally you can control the movements of like the overworld Enemies. I love that's what one thing I love about this game. Yeah, no, it's, it's very cool that you can mitigate most. There, there's some enemies that are very hard to outrun like that, and they have very fixed things. <laughs> or if we get to sh see later, there's some enemies that don't take just one square, correct? Yeah, they're bigger than they require to. I might just die here, actually. This yeah, this is, is scary, actually. Yeah, double sense or. Because Decker might be alive. Ooh. <laughs> okay. That's what I mean. Wow, alive. Oh my gosh. So now we get to waste all of these. All of them. Found. And this is what I mean. It's really kind of tricky. Um, I can go like this, actually. Because we did find... Strong, right? Thank strong goodness. Damage. Okay. But yeah, this is again just like how quickly one bad thing can. Whew, folks, that was close. That was scary. <laughs> that was almost it right there. We were gonna have like a 12 minute run. <laughs> uh, and these guys chase you. Um, and then oh. they only chase you like within a certain vicinity. So if you're too far away, they'll just stop. Whew. Folks, I'm not playing, but I was stressing. <laughs> Oh, here we go. All right. It, it's kind of scary, actually, because, like, the, the further you go down, the more monsters kind of have, like, AoE attacks. Yes, right, right. Spells and things like that to take you down. Yeah, and there's not really a whole lot of kind of, like, safe monsters. Like, those little wing things are pretty annoying, and they're mm -hmm. also considered kind of, like, party wipes, because... If you fight them, there's like three or four, and they can just like mass AoE, basically wind spell on you. Now, this is a good spell, right? Dragon is one of the higher tier spells, yeah. Nice. So, that was... A dread is useless. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, Dread is not going to do anything for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I hate that armor. That. Same. They're very bulky. Yes, yes, correct. And we'll go back and explore that after. Okay, let's hear why is everybody by the stairs? Oh, and not the swords. God. What are you guys doing? You're blocking each other. Yeah, I think they are. Okay, I'll take the... Whatever, I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. 
I should have whatever best equipment on. Ooh, maybe I will. <laughs> I know, I was, like, I was hoping it was actually going to be the other ones, because... <laughs> yeah, because the stars will attack me right after this, too, which is not good. But, should have enough health. Yeah, attack Decker. So, the thing about the swords is they have higher attack, um, but they're singular. Yes, so. that's what I was thinking, too. So, hopefully, I was hoping uh, they're going to fight solely, but none of them went after a solely. No, and the other good thing is if you ever run away on stairs, you automatically go down the stairs. So that's oh, why. yeah! Thank goodness. Yeah, so, you don't have to, like, worry about fighting them again or anything like that. And Sully is very much a sponge right now. So, I don't... Oops. I don't think we have another... Re yeah, we do have a miracle. Do I really waste that on Guy? I don't know. I, I, I do not know the run. I brought everyone back just because of my, my brain when I play casually, I was like, okay, I got to get them levels. I got to get some more damage in because Guy would be one of those ones that would do some good damage for my team, you know? Yeah, he is kind of weird. Um, he is very good. We're going to use the green guy to block the snake, which is pretty slick. That was, that was nice. And then we're also going to make the snake move down. And then we're going to move away. Okay, <laughs> so. there we go. Come on, game, hook it up. Yeah, oh. So in terms of items and stuff, we really want to see... Oh, this, there's a bush back there that's going to block that guy. That's okay. Oh. Um, we really, really want to see um, something called a Decker Blade, a Myth Blade, an Old Blade, a uh, Gaty's Blade, which we'll probably never see because I oh, swear. Oh, Gaty's Blade, yes. It, it, they say every blue chest has the same spawn chances, like whatever, but you will find constant like earrings and other stuff in those chests that you never need. You're like, yeah, thanks for nothing. Yeah, okay. Oh, this no. Is not good. <laughs> no. Folks, uh, it's a terrible can... level right here. Well, okay, great one. That's great. We can partially still be okay, but yeah, this, this is sometimes just what the cave does. So these guys are a little bit scary because they do AoE um, and they are two spaces. So they have an AoE fire attack that kind of sucks. Um, but we, we have a couple of options here because once we move left, uh, we can make him move left too. And then we can heal and I will actually hope that the deadly blade that I found earlier is an instant death one. And it is. So from there, these guys, um, we can Ooh. double instant death with Artie and Maxim now. Um, so that's when the enemy takes no damage or only just die. So okay, kinda... cool. That was nice. Yeah, so we're, we're a little bit safe in this week, probably. Wow, folks, that was that was slick. Oh, wow, but... double down. Okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the stairs, like, you literally spawn on a new set of stairs, so it's kind of nice, but... It gave us a little bit of experience anyway, which we really need because by now we should be seeing more cores and the next kind of like problem levels are around level 40 because we'll start to experience ninjas and they're pretty much the next run killer. Because they're, they're faster than you, right? Yeah, and they have like an AoE knife attack that does uh, maybe like 100 plus on people. So if at that point you don't have health and you're forced into a ninja fight, um, it's almost impossible to outrun the ninja both in battle, but also out of battle. Because wow. out of battle, they move like two or three spaces every time that you move one. Yay, speed so potion. You're just like literally stuck there. Whew. So we really haven't found any equipment yet. Um, literally. <laughs> yeah, no, even like basic stuff. Yay, yeah. Providence. Just what yeah, we needed for this run. Casually, Providence is how you escape the cave, so. And for those of you that don't know, uh, there's a big difference between red and blue chests, not just because of the upgrade items, but you're able to actually take those blue items consistently back down to the dungeon. Is that correct? Correct, yeah. Anything you find in a blue chest, you can return with later on, uh, both in kind of like the standalone mode, but also in like the casual ancient cave when you're playing it through the story. And then anything you find in the red chest, once you leave, is like basically wiped. Okay, cool. What's the uh, spawn percentage under the bushes that will spawn health uh, regeneration like uh, pads? 
pretty low. Um, it's not a common thing. It's not okay because like I was always so stoked when that would happen. Yeah, and that's actually a funny internet rumor too because people swore there's kind of like MP pad, ooh, MP pads and stuff. Uh, but apparently there is not. So there's nothing in the game coding or anything like that that you can recover MP under a bush in the ancient cave. It's only HP. Oh, okay, cool. That's why I didn't say the MP one. I'm like, I don't remember there, but I mean, there could be. I just never got it, right? It's just like one of those weird internet persistent rumors from childhood. Was, oh, yeah, yeah, I had it happen. It's like, actually, no, it never yeah. <laughs> That's one of those times you're like, no, it couldn't happen. Yeah, dude, man, I swear, I swear. Oh God, not these guys. Yeah, these guys are annoying. This is where we're gonna start to feel. Um, I, I, my best bet is actually to run away, I think. Just kind of like run by them. I might actually take the opportunity here to feed Sully so he can kind of take more hits and stuff. But yeah, we're, we're at a very low level here because we're like level 10, I think it said, and basically like level 33 or 34. So we really didn't have core luck yet. And these guys coming up, they basically attack twice and they have high speed. So they're pretty shit. Shoot. <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> oh no. Okay. All right. So you did have enough to get Sully up there. Yeah. We might have enough like random junk to feed. Uh, maybe one more kind of like evolution or whatever you want to call it. Oh, cool. Yeah. I, that's what I always called it. Yeah. From I mean, a radish to a, a dwarf yeah, child. They don't make sense. <laughs> you, you best not pay attention to that part. <laughs> like, no, I think he ends up like a Maui head or whatever at the very end. Yeah, so. it's funny you say that because like some of them make sense with their transformations. The other ones, it's like, what? Yeah, uh, some of them are really rough. So apparently we can't, that's okay. So I guess the play here is just to walk through and then run away because they will double hit us for probably too much health. Oh, actually, I guess maybe they only hit us once, so I'll take that. They have a brother that definitely hits twice. That's what I was thinking. I was like, no, I thought there was ones that do double turns, which That's gives them a better too. chance for crits too, I thought. Yeah, I thought so as well, but apparently we're not there yet, so I'll take that still. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We got some more floors before they appear, but we're we're in pretty bad territory because we need chorus. Cause yeah, ninjas, you're not getting hooked up with them right now. No, ninjas are actually. You know what? These crabs are kind of pathetic. Oh, cool! <laughs> so good, good. Let's go. They, yeah, they might be our best bet to level. Oh yeah, they're gonna use them. things like that right now. That's perfect. Yeah, they like to defend. They can still do a decent amount of damage, but they like to defend and protect themselves against fire. So, and they also have, I think, only like 300 health. So they're they're pretty low in threat in terms of every other enemy. Oh, that was around. a great fight. Yeah, let's go. I wish yeah, someone would have ran. They're one of the safer kind of enemies that you can. These plants suck. No, <laughs> suck. They're super go. tanky. Oh no. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, they're annoying. Uh, luckily, they're kind of slow, but they status attack you, I think, if they hit you, plus they hit twice, so they're pretty annoying to deal with as well. Whew. All right, all right, good job, good job. Um, so I know I'm going to curse myself, but one thing that we haven't seen yet in like the floor 20 onwards is blue mimics, and they're very much a huge run killer. What do those uh, ones look like again? Like, what's their sprite? They're like a blue chest. Okay. Uh, hey, what's up, Andrew? No, like oh, what's blue... going on, Rig? Yeah, they're like a blue chest, so... Um, but yeah, they're, they're also massive run killers, because at the time, you mostly fight them. You can't escape. Uh, like, they're usually in front of a door or something, so you're, like, forced to fight them. And then yeah. on top of that, too, they all have an AoE. You can fight four at a time, and their AoE does, like, 100-plus damage again, so... Okay, Trick, this is our first notable find. This is a good one. Let's go. Now, I saw you got a speed potion and a power potion. Are those not good for you at all right now? They are, but they make like a negligible difference if you're just going to use them now. Um, a oh, lot of people really? use them okay. right before the jelly. But just in general, it's uh, not something. So you wait for it because you get a better uh, payout for the use? 
I, when you get to, I guess, like the the floors where it matters, where speed can matter rather, yeah, yeah, um, mainly like seventy one to eighty four with arc fiends, like that's when I tend to use them. Okay, but and I I'm guess just like one character. Theory, I'm assuming. Yeah. Um, okay. So there's a ninja. That's oh no. So maybe we can go this way. Yeah, Rick. I'm glad you're able to catch the uh, the the dream races. We've got another uh, raffle going on. I, I know you like those Dauntless sticks. We got, we got to let Dave focus here for a moment, so we'll, we'll bug you about that. Get that exclamation point raffle going on, folks. Ooh, the stairs were down here. Got lucky. Yeah, you didn't have to deal with that uh, <laughs> that ninja. <laughs> no, to be fair, the ninjas now are the red ones, so they're kind of like the slightly easier versions. Oh, okay. They still suck. Okay. Like, they actually still suck, because... They have what's a move called Terminal Blow, which is basically like an instant death attack. Okay, I was I thought one of the ninjas had insta death, so that's why I was freaking out. Yeah, both both ninjas are annoying because one ninja has an AOE, the black kind of ones, and then the red ones have Terminal Blow. Berserk Blade is a notable item, but it's a bad notable item because oh. every single time, if you watch somebody that runs it, they get a Berserk Blade. They literally go like this. They literally go to Capsule. They literally go to Feed. They'll go down to the Berserk Blade like this, and then they'll feed it immediately to the head. Oh. And the reason that they do that is because Berserk Blade, all the deadly weapons that are cursed and stuff in this game have very low attack power, so you can't automatically equip them by accident. But the oh, only smart. one that's okay. an exception is Berserk Blade. It's really? Got like, it's got like 100 plus attack or something. It automatically like grafts onto your, your dude, and then you can't get it off. <laughs> Uh, it's a pretty bad weapon in terms of like IP attacks and stuff like that. So. Wow, that's good to know. Okay, okay. Uh, so we still have not seen horrors or anything like that. All right, fo folks, you want to be looking for some gray cubes on the screen. And that's what we're talking about when it comes to cores. If you haven't seen that sprite before. We're starting to approach like the dangerous guys because these green monsters are pretty much all bad news. <laughs> uh, they are very scary if you're forced to fight them. These pumpkin heads are really weird. So oh, yeah, I hate they're confused, to be honest. But they're generally pretty safe to run away from. Oh, but they're cool. a teleporting enemy. So yes, I hate that. Randomly teleport. Yeah, those hydras, uh, I think like the baby forms uh, all hit three times each. Oh no, this is a bad spot. And the more kind of like advanced hydras hit. I'm going to take the hit run. These guys hit twice too, which is really annoying. But I should be able to run away from them. Okay, cool. Yeah, I will literally just go like that. I'll probably take, yeah, that's fine. But otherwise I'm gonna get like pincered in by both. Right. Good job, Artie. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, you really had one job there, friend. <laughs> just survive. Just survive. Take some damage, just don't perish. Yeah. So what's a weapon that we're looking for so we can get excited? Uh, Decker Blade, Old Blade, Myth Blade, Flying Blows, like, when you don't have any of those other weapons that you want. <laughs> so okay. That wasn't too terrible. Um, yeah, we really want kind of like one Just of those Just those four, weapons. huh? Gaty's Blade is another good one. Deadly Rod, but at this point, I messed up Artie and Max. Yeah, you, yeah you, so you can't really use it yet. Yeah, you I would have to find other. a ridiculous amount of Curse Lifters. But Curse Lifters... Um, Ooh. Gaty's Blade. Okay, this is worthless. Dang <laughs> like it! Of course it's, it's a always race. jewelry. Always jewelry. Ah, they want you feeling pretty, Dave. Yeah. Okay, so we have a ninja over here, which is lame. We have a snake down here. It's the same room. It's not the same room. So these pink plants are super annoying, too, because they can hit three times. Uh, and they're slow. But at the same time, do they insta die? 
No, I, no, running was the right move okay, for sure. I, have, yeah, I have no are, idea. Yeah, no, my guys are way too weak because level 14 is way under level here. Oh, good job. But he's gonna attack me again, so it's. Oh, because he's so crazy. big. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's really a whole lot that you can do in this situation. Because you can. This is where I can... Okay. Oh, wow. Great job. And then poison. The perfect spell. Ah, uh, the nin Ooh. The ninja is here. That's not cool. So, we need to really... Right, we're gonna get attacked by the ninja. It's not possible to move in this room. Well, now, well, now that you brought him down, I was gonna think if you could have gone the other way. Okay, ooh. little plant. Little plant. <laughs> You're really not making this easy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so these are the scary ones. So I, I don't really have a choice with the fight here. Okay. Because no matter what, like even if I run away, I don't have enough the speed. resources. Oh, they're gonna do it. Okay, okay. Folks, but here we go. Here we this, go. This is where I think it dies. So, because they attack twice, which is annoying. And if they don't attack twice, they AoE. And yeah. So, that's probably. Well, you know what? Maybe not. If they AoE, we're dead. Otherwise, somehow both people survive that have instant death, so... Okay. Oh, wow. Artie's gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's alive! Technically. Technically. Oh, well, for now. For now. But, I don't know. Do we have miracles? Miracles, I think? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. We can, we can do it. We're fine. Wow. Alright, folks, that was scary. I'm not... You don't want a ninja. <laughs> wow, that that was super cool that we got through that. Well, Dave got through. I'm I'm just here to freak out. <laughs> so the job. amazing thing is where there's ninjas, there's cores, but we have still not seen cores. So wow. We have a pretty bad seed in that regard. And for those of you that don't know the terminology, seed. Uh, because this is procedurally generated, right? You can only, every time it's always gonna be a new setup, uh, that's what it is. So there's X amount. How many total seeds are there? Do you know? I don't know. I, okay. I don't know if they like loop. I, I know it's like basically infinite though, because it's frame based and determined when you push start on the menu. How cool, okay. So, yeah. Um, so but I know there's <laughs> like, yeah, probably. I know there's like good seeds in the sense where if you find like Gladius and other yeah. random swords like that, you apparently found a good seed where your luck is higher. Okay, okay. So that contributes to like more corresponding. This oh, blue really? guy is actually a very scary dragon. Um, I'm gonna try to avoid him if I can. He moves. Okay, that worked out well. Um. They, they have like really strong AoE attacks and they're really annoying to deal with. And I just don't have the health or levels. Right. So this plant is also super annoying. And this is an enemy that you can't attack from behind. Nope. Um, so he'll again wound us and poison us and stuff. But running away is the right option because they attack three times, so it's super annoying. Oh no, attack solely. Yeah, of course, they'll never attack. Because folks, Soli will keep on coming back to life automatically. So we're now down to no longer having revive stuff. Oof. And usually that's another thing that's actually quite hard to find in the cave is like actual revive spells. Oh, so right. Ninja. Yeah. Ninja, why? Why are you poisoned? Yeah, the, the whatchamacallit plant did that to him. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, well, not ideal. It is a small chance that the ninja will have like one. Okay, three again. That's not good. Good luck. We really don't have levels for this, so. I don't Please, think all attack Sully. 
All of them attack Sully. Yeah, if Sully could take some hits, it would be good. Hey, there you go. There we go. Yeah! That actually might have mattered hugely. Okay, that also mattered. That also the mattered. The other there goes one of the insta-kills. Yes. <laughs> so, like, I literally can't do anything. There's nothing um, you can do here, folks. I, no, I think we're dead. Because if, yeah. I, if I try to run... I'll still die, I think, because there's no way I can take two hits on either of these guys. And Did I don't you use that speed. AOE at the end there? It just was too much. Yeah, so I think we're, we're gone. Here. But that's okay. I expected nothing else, honestly. Total defeat. No, this is an amazing speedrun, but it is absolutely probably the most brutal one. Whew! So he, he just really didn't get much good luck, folks. Like, he did a good job of surviving where he could, you know, but it was total defeat. What was <laughs> total <that>? defeat. <laughs> what was that? Uh, 30 levels in? Or oh, no, that, that was 40, 45 or something. Okay, 46. I figured you would know better than I do. I was like, I was just kind of guessing based on how, but felt how deep you're going, the music change and everything, which yeah, I think is a really cool perspective in the first 44s i think you can find cores on like 30 35 or something like so the fact that we found basically two is not cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> well and then on top of it like you didn't have a way to kill them in one shot so if you <laughs> you had to really hope you're going to get them and like you did damage that very first time and then it ran away still it's like oh. yeah 